the Human-Centered Mechatronics HCM, lab, located at the Ain Shams University Teaching Hospital, Eldimer Hospital, was established with funding from the STDF for capacity building. The lab began its operations in September 2022. It seamlessly integrated into the Ain Shams University Virtual Hospital. Lab location, first floor, Academic Institute for Heart Surgery, Ain Shams University Teaching Hospitals, Eldimerdash Hospital, Ramses Street, Cairo, Egypt. Notably, it's a mere 15 minute walk from the Faculty of Engineering at Ain Shams University. The Human Centered Mechatronics, HCM. Lab at Ain Shams University Teaching Hospital combines mechatronics engineering with a focus on human needs. The lab's goal is to create mechatronic systems that boost human health and elevate medical care quality. This lab is used for both research and education. Undergraduate and postgraduate mechatronics students utilize the lab for courses like biomechatronics, biomedical engineering, biomechanics, locomotion, and gait analysis and rehabilitation robotics in addition to other courses. The lab is outfitted with a range of facilities. It boasts a 40-square-meter area dedicated to the gate analysis lab, a motion capture zone equipped with 14 cameras and four force platforms, as well as instrumented stairs designed to study human movements during activities such as walking, ascending, and descending stairs, in addition to other activities. The lab houses high-speed video cameras and infrared cameras specifically designed to monitor human movements and track markers placed on anatomical bone landmarks. These cameras facilitate kinematic analysis and monitor human motion. Meanwhile, the force platforms measure kinetic parameters. Wearable sensors are also available to record muscle activities using EMG sensors. The markers are affixed to individuals to analyze their movements, locomotion, and biomechanics. Real-time data collection software is used to stream motion data, 2D, 3D, and 6DOF, integrate with other applications, and synchronize the collected data with, EM with EMG readings, acceleration, angular velocity, and ground reaction forces. Biomechanics analysis software is used for musculoskeletal modeling and analysis. It utilizes the kinematics and kinetics data collected by the motion capture system to perform inverse kinematics and dynamics analysis. The lab also features a real-time, 64-channel sports-type EEG system. This portable system operates in real-time for EEG data collection and can be utilized for real-time control of robotics and prosthetics. Additionally, the lab is equipped with 3D printers and a 3D scanner. The 3D scanner is capable of capturing detailed 3D models of human segments, such as the face, ears, arms, and legs, as well as scanning products and other devices. The 3D printers are utilized to produce custom-designed parts. The lab is also engaged in exoskeleton robotics projects aimed at assisting patients with limited mobility or spinal cord injuries. These projects aim to help patients recover some of their lost functions and enable them to walk. When using the exoskeleton, patients require crutches to ensure balance and stability. The control techniques have an impact on the exoskeleton's robotic, robotic performance when integrated with the patients. The lab is actively involved in the design, development, and assessment of prosthetic limbs aiming to aid amputees in regaining their lost mobility. The motion capture system in the lab is utilized to evaluate the biomechanics and gait of a prosthetic foot developed at the Faculty of Engineering, Ain Shams University. The motion capture cameras, wearable sensors, and EEG system can be integrated with virtual reality environments to study the behaviors, kinematics, brain activities, muscle responses, and reactions of individuals and patients in virtual settings. Furthermore, virtual reality combined with electromyography biofeedback, known as EMGVR biofeedback, is designed to boost muscle activation, enhance limb functionality, and is informed by the neuromuscular balance theory pertaining to sensorimotor interventions. This integration is applicable in various domains, including sports and neurorehabilitation. Additionally, augmented reality, AR, can be leveraged to design environments that seamlessly integrate with the real world, enhancing training and neurorehabilitation activities. AR is described as the real-time incorporation of digital information, such as text, graphics, audio, 
and other virtual elements with tangible real-world objects.